They were a blissfully happy married couple until the bride was mowed down on her way home from her wedding reception. Today, a bail hearing was held for the woman accused of drunkenly plowing into 34-year-old Samantha Miller and her husband, killing her and seriously wounding him. As Stephen Fabian reports, that hearing pitted two families against one another. It's a mother's heartbreak. <laughs> Tears for her daughter, Samantha Miller. The beautiful bride killed the night she got married last April as she and her groom, Eric Hutchinson, were driving a golf cart after the reception. The suspect, 25-year-old Jamie Komorowski, was in court today via closed-circuit TV, asking the judge to release her on bond. One by one, the late bride's family spoke. The defendant was, made the conscious decision to get into her vehicle after drinking all day and take away my daughter. She didn't just kill my daughter. She killed all of us. Samantha's father is still overcome with grief. I would give anything to hug my daughter again. Anything. Anything. Her sister says hearing a police siren reminds her of that awful night. When the sirens go off and I think about that time, running down the street, screaming my sister's name. Jamie Komorowski's family was also in court, her parents, brother, and sister. The defendant collapsed when she saw them. And I also want to express my deepest sympathy and sorrow to the family of the Hudson's and the Millers. The judge ordered that she remain behind bars on no bail. After the hearing, Samantha's family spoke. Her mother made an eyebrow-raising request that her daughter's maiden name, not her married name, be used. Samantha's name is Samantha Miller. She got married. She died on her wedding night. I'm sorry, but that is her legal name. We asked the Miller family lawyer if there's a rift with the groom. The goal the Miller family has is to work with Eric together on Sam's estate. A tragedy that has turned two families upside down. The judge also ruled that if the defendant's trial doesn't start by next March, he will order her released on $150,000 bail. She has pled not guilty.